Well, this particular part of uh, a certain site, it's known as Trench F, and it's a very small remnant of what used to be here. This little bone remnant right in through here is kind of the edge of, a, of the kill deposits. As you move up slope, you hit into the sandstone bedrock that then projects on up to within a couple of feet of the surface. So it defines the sloping wall of, the, of this gully and then just back below us, everything levels out and would continue at this level all the way across the canyon for at least 30 feet. So the kill deposits, I mean the bone bed itself would have extended as a complete bone bed all the way across this canyon. And we estimate somewhere around 150 animals probably were killed in here in a number of different events. Most of what we're dealing with are bison remains. This is your modern bison. The deposits themselves are around 2,000 years old. And what they're dealing with is running a small herd of animals that's probably been down on the stream down below us grazing on the lush grasses. They probably diverted them into these side canyons, which acted as kind of a box canyon system, real small box canyon. The animals couldn't get out. Your hunters positioned up on the rim, speared them, killed them, and then came into the gully to do the butchering. Now in this particular case, we're still uncovering it to see how many different animals are in this pile. But so far, uh, we're looking at a butchered up half, front half of an animal, rear half of an animal, uh, some butchered up legs. These are rear legs in through here, mixed in with more front leg elements. Uh, I would estimate that just this pile here probably represents at least four animals. In addition to the bones, which I've been going on and on and on about, uh, we do find projectile points. And these are all a, a large spear point. Uh, these spear points are uh, indicative of, of about 2,000 years old. Uh, we refer to them as the late archaic cultures and the projectile points then are indications of a late archaic time period. And this is a good representation of what these points look like. This is one that's come from this site. In typical fashion, it's made out of a quartzite called Ogallala Quartzite. It's very tough material to work, but these guys had it down to where they can make pretty decent projectile points. It's a spear point, so it's on a, probably around a five foot, maybe six foot long spear shaft. And the way it would have been hafted is that shaft would come up to there and then you would wrap the sinew around it just here, leaving exposed the major tip of this spear. These things are then propelled into an animal probably with the use of an atlatl or spear thrower. That is, the spear thrower lengthens your arm about another foot or so and so when you hook a spear onto that and you throw it the arc, that arc that your arm goes through is extended 
and it provides a lot more force into that spear, enabling it to penetrate into a bison without any trouble at all, particularly at short distances. Well, that additional amount of force also leads to the breakage of these things. And as you can imagine, since it's only being hafted and wrapped here, the main breakage pattern is for that base to snap off. In this case, on that projectile point, that's what it's missing, is that stem and base. And there's also damage to the tip, and this damage is due to it hitting a solid piece of bone, fracturing off, that sudden jolt of, of stopping then is what allows the shaft to come down and snap over, removing that stem and base. And this is typical of the condition of the points that are found in this bone bed. This is less typical. This one being complete, they probably lost it in a gut pile. Uh, maybe Junior threw it off to the side. There's no telling. But it was nice of them to leave us a complete one. Thank <laughs> you.